Hello, adventurers. It's Rex. Today, as you can see here on the right, um, I have a little while to go before Neverwinter actually finishes downloading. I didn't realize it got me kind of late. So here I am downloading Neverwinter. Looking forward to playing a little bit. It looks like the current update is 10.70 and there's new changes so let's see what those are it says uh, cryptic studio has published out neverwinter update 10.70 uh, for pc and ps4 platforms if you have the xbox one version this update will be released at a later date okay so that's news to me i didn't know um some new content several changes have been implemented okay so let's see what else it says uh patch notes highlights band of air balance changes oh i was told about that yesterday from moto moto medic told me that the band of air balance change would happen changes contextualized and balance changes general direction are now active see the band of air section under combat and powers for details please note that some high-end bosses have had their health reduced as well so i don't know what that means exactly but i guess something's going on there um multi-paragon path resolution there was a time window during which players could use a free retrain and as a result somehow end up both paragon path at once this build characters in that state will have another retrain automatically applied to them removing this incorrect state uh oh i hope that's not me i would take a rebuild of a character uh, Roth Valley season pass credit to make up for skirmishes not properly granting Roth Valley battle pass XP players can now claim 850 battle pass XP for the take stock of life milestone from the rewards claim agent once per account for a limited time what else Content and environment. Sharon our bounty targets. All bounty targets spawn timers have been lowered to five minutes down from ten minutes. Cyclops and troll bounty targets in the ruins now can now only spawn in one at a time. Protectors Enclave. It looks like events. Funny, I should be looking the other way. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Uh, this is me here. Here's my camera here. Da 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 da. Here, filter. Then prop. Color correction, crop pad, image. I don't see the white setting here. Scaling aspect ratio, maybe? I think it's, uh, let me see. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's properties. Not uh, that either. Get under transform. Other scaling. Uh, I think it should be under transform. Yeah, that's. 
that's what it should be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the camera for a second. See if I can change it. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, I know why. Here we go. Transform. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so now when I'm looking over here, I'm actually looking at the screen. So let's do the browsing. This one down here. Okay. There's a dragon. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, what else did they do? Events, events that change the lighting the sky now properly affect the dragon hunts staging areas. Roth Valley, they blocked off. It's crying stone can once again properly be accessed. The in-game achievements, crying Roth Valley, once again be achieved. General. Crown of Caldogon. Uh, a floating translucent black plane no longer appears in the air. A certain area. Frozen Heart. The Slay Rimmer. Rimner. Objective. Now properly shows a quest path. Uh, tutorial players can no longer get blocked from progression during the training day quest if they manage to lose their course. Future events. Hellfish should now be more approachable. The player with lower item levels, the difficulty has been mildly reduced across the board. The event now scales players up to a uh, minimum of 40,000 item level and down to a maximum of 60,000 item level. The event calendar has been updated through November 2022. Uh, the in game calendar. Still only show up to six weeks of events ahead of time. Uh, we see enemies and encounters. Crown of Kelderon. Hey, join the fun and make a geeky gamer happy with a follow. Alright, let's see what else. We have um, we have the Ahavarin. I'm not sure how to say that. He's no longer incorrectly targeted as an invisible en entity after flying away. The damage from tail swipe is no longer disconnected from the animation. Dragon hunts black dragon. Acid Steam now fires about 33% fewer orbs. Damage dealt by Acid Steam orbs has been reduced by 50%. Damage zones left by Acid Stream no longer persist after the dragon is defeated. Enemy damage in the Dragon Hunt map has been decreased. The Dragon Hunt map no longer incorrectly increases enemy health by roughly 20%. So, 
That looks like they nerfed the black dragon and nerfed a little bit of the dragon hunts in general. Rise of Tiamat. All right, the normal one. Boobs will now be automatically separated and teleported to an appropriate first Tiamat head location at the start of phase four. Adjusted head swapping patterns to reduce travel time and further encourage a safer strategy of engaging both of Tiamat's active heads simultaneously. The cleric, I mean, yeah, the cleric bars on phase two will now start at 15% as opposed to 10%. Reduce the damage of Asana Phil and Undying Stinger attack by 20%. Uh, reduce the damage of the bite attack from Tiamat's heads by 15 Twenty percent. Reduce HP of Asinafil and Undying and Baltor, the Immortal, by twenty-five percent. Reduce HP of Tiamat's head by fifteen percent. Reduce HP of Tiamat in the final phase by ten percent. All right. So it looks like they nerfed Tiamat finally. Master Trials. The HP of the following enemies has been reduced by ten percent. Tower of the Mad Mage, Halister. Zariel's Challenge, Zariel, Shade of Fire, Shade of Ice, Hermund, Harrowmunds, and Olanthius. Uh, what else? Crown of Keldegon, Path of Varathin, and Lindra both together and apart. Uh, not sure what that means. Rise of Tiamat, Severin, Tiamat's Claw, Tiamat, and all of the heads. Okay. Combat empowered. Band of air. Band of air now only procs on actual attack options a player, I mean actions a player makes. It no longer procs on, for example, other procs. Wow. I see. So that's why they are saying got nerfed. Band of air proc damage has been reduced. Oh, nerfed. A ring of darkness damage has been reduced, though not as much as band of air. The set bonus, uh, let me see, the set bonus of Ring of Darkness was causing its damage to go down. That should no longer be the case. If you have both rings, the Ring of Darkness should not do slightly more damage than if you had the Ring of Darkness alone. Um, okay, Bat, so that means both of them together is a little bit more damage. Okay, that Band of Air set bonus is unchanged because the base boa damage has been decreased the boa as part of the set may now deal more damage than boa alone depending on the build for more content we see balance changes generation direct general direction okay class balance paladin damage bonus of the class feature blessed wanderer has been increased to 20%. How far are we here with the uh, like midway point in the download for Neverwinter? Uh, Paladin, okay, the damage bonus of the class feature, Blessed Wanderer has been increased to 20% up from 5%. Companions. Uh, Phaser Spider's instincts no longer removes movement speed when a character becomes immune to dodges, mounts. Big B's hand now properly grants the mythic stat value for fast riding items and economy. General, chromatic stands no longer drop inside the Tiamat trial or cradle of the death god trial. The dragonfire gadget can no longer be sold to vendors. The dragonfire gadget can no, can no longer occasionally crash servers. Uh, the Hellfire Steed account mount now properly unlocks its reclaim in the rewards claim agent if the character had bound a skeletal steel prior to binding a Hellfire Steed. So it was skeletal, skeletal Steed prior to binding a Hellfire Steed. We are looking into providing recompense for players who were affected by this issue. Following the lock boxes now drop 
updated enchantment rewards rather than ancient versions of enchantments. The descent lockbox, that's that squirrel, whatever, forsaken. So a bunch of the lockboxes got updated for the new enchantments. What else do we have here? Um, okay, what's going on with this? That's better. All right, uh, Vault of Stars. No seals. Seals of the North can no longer incorrectly be earned beyond the weekly maximum cap when completing trial of advanced dungeon queues. Seals of the Wild now drop when players reach the weekly maximum cap of Seals of the North, completing trial and advanced dungeon queues. Sharing our reward. Obtainment updates. Vault of Stars, reward chests, both drop legendary rings much more frequently. Band of Air Darkness components drop much more frequently than all three mini bosses. From all three mini bosses. Pants, shirts, and second and third hardcore mini bosses always drop. Pants, shirts, and second and third hardcore mini bosses drop one time per person instead of one time per party. Okay. Uh, hardcore pants and shirts and second and third hardcore mini bosses drop one time. Okay, uh, hardcore mini bosses always drop one non shirt pant item is granted per player. Hardcore mini bosses now no longer very rarely drop two non shirt pant items. Bounties, uh, bounty chests always award either a Companion gear, cosmetic, or artifact set item. Shattered diamond shards. Minor heroic encounters now give 10 shards, up from 2. Minor heroic encounters, no, major heroic encounters now give 25 shards, up from 3. Bounties now give 10 shards, up from 1. Charmander collections, accessories, plus two through plus four shirts, pants, and now go a location of Charmander heroic encounters. Accessories plus five shirt pants have been removed from the Charmander accessories collection. These items were never obtainable in game and no longer erroneously appear in collections. Antiques, antiquities. All items now show a location of epic dragon vaults. Stars hardcore antique six pants, six times pants, and six times shirts from second and third mini bosses in boss have been added to collections. Featured events following rewards are now earnable as potential rewards from Starlight Parcel. Uh, Cosmic Pig, El Mister's Lunchbox, Fire Blossom Zealot. Performance and stability, stability, and entirely not an extremely rare crash has been addressed in item refinement. Uh, various other crashes have been addressed. General, various updates have been made to the engine, though not many are likely to directly affect the player experience. Localization, under mountain expeditions, boon bonuses, and gains are now properly localized. And what else? That's it for this patch notes. Number one is out now for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Alright, so that's that's the information on that. Uh, let's see, never winter at point seven no patch notes. See if there's something else. Oh, 
it's the exact same article. The exact same article. Looks like we're going to be able to play Tiamat again, finally. Alright, so I'm going to get off so that hopefully my uh, Neverwinter will download faster and hopefully I'll see you in a little bit.